Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Editing Betrayal, and I am here from the future to explain that what you are about to see is part four of Factorio There Is No Spoon. This game was recorded in just one sitting with a couple of breaks, and instead of cutting out the boring parts, I've just sped them up so you can keep track of all my actions and keep an eye on the modded in clock in the top corner. This game was recorded with the tutorial-like nature in mind, so I do try my best to talk through what I'm doing as I go. Today, we continue with science, adding blue science and getting everything ready for purple production science. Enjoy! Okay, if I look at blue science, um, we need to. So, we've just made the advanced circuits. We also need to make engine units and electric mining drills. Uh, now, do I have an engine unit one? No. Okay, uh, luckily engine units are not that difficult to make. Uh, I believe we need something along these lines. This line here needs to come from steel. This line, oops, this line wants to come from iron, which is actually right there. Okay, then in terms of where everything goes... Okay, and that should actually make us engine units. Simple as that. And... Uh, what was the last thing it needed? Electric mining drills. Let's do something like this. Um, then. Okay, um, whatever that was done, concrete is finished. Uh, okay. Let me just have a quick look. I don't think there's anything else we need that doesn't require... Okay, explosives. We can go up the rocket shooting speed tree. That way we're not stalling for science. Okay, so if I feed iron in there and then gears in there... Not gears, circuits rather. needs two of them. One isn't fast enough to fill it up. Uh, explosives are done, uh, so let's move on to rocketry. Okay, so what we'll do... Um, we need 12 machines making science pack 3s. If you haven't figured it out yet, by the way, I am aiming for a sort of 1 per second or 60 science per minute. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, rate, I guess. Um, so they can come down and meet up with them. Okay, then we just need to feed them in. And then we'll have blue science automated before the beginning of hour three. Well, before three hours are up, I should say. Rocketry is finished. Uh, rocket shooting speeds. And I suppose, more importantly, we will have it finished before we have run out of non-blue science to do. So yes, with the positioning here, this will run out of belts, apparently. Um, no, what I was going to say is this will just line up directly with the military science input. Okay, so there you go. You've just seen the worst Steel X percent run in the world. Two hours, 38 minutes. <laughs> yes, if you don't know, uh, there is a category of speed run called Steel X or Steel X percent. And it's basically to get a Steel axe as fast as you can. Mm. 
There we go. Okay, uh, rocket shooting one is done. Rocket shooting two. Okay, and iron is gone. Has gone wonky. Let's go and have a look. See what's going on with iron. It just needs to be balanced a bit better. But yes, we have made some blue science. Okay, after blue science is production science, which have we unlocked that yet? No, we haven't. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time um, to have a look and think what we want to do. Um, so production science is unlocked with this one. Uh, production science pack there, advanced materials too, which we can now research. Um, Let's see, what are we doing at the moment? Rocket shooting 2. After that is 3 and 4 and 5. Uh, is this still working? Yes it is. Keep going. I think it works out like we need 80 of the level 1s. Let's see if we can't squeeze a bit more into here. Yes, looks weird, but if I've done it right at least, it should work out as 13 on each side once again. Oh, rocket shooting two is done, rocket shooting three. So yes, any downtime, well, not that you should have any real downtime, um, you want to try and increase the amount of resources you've got coming in. Power's still doing all right. Um, I think what I might do though, let me just have a quick check, see how many I've got there. Yeah, so it's only a little bit more I need to add. One, two, three, four, and eight steam engines. That will get me the full columns worth. The full steam column, that is. Got a lot of different columns today. So yes, a single offshore pump can um, supply 20 boilers, which in turn supply 40 steam engines. Okay, um, right, so production science, even though we can't um, make it yet, uh, what is this one here? Requires electric engine units and electric furnaces. Electric engine units, um, which has just reminded me to look at lubricant, which is full and therefore heavy oil, which is... Well, it's actually petrol we're backed up on. It's okay to be backed up on petrol. However, it means we're not producing much of... So that one's full, that one is full. Okay, so we got about 5,000 so far, about halfway there on the on the solid fuel. That's all right. Some of these aren't working. Why are some of these not working? Because these are facing the wrong way. Ta-da! Ah, yes. Engine units, sorry, electric engine units. Uh, there's a little trick we can use here. If I grab my blueprint and copy that. Uh, so this is the engine setup. All we have to do is get rid of this output belt and stick it down here. 
give ourselves a little bit of room because electric engines are made at exactly the same rate as engines uh, 10 seconds compared to 10 seconds and they take one engine so it can just be direct inserted um, now we want some pipes Oops. Um, because they take lubricant and they also take circuits so yes I've left just enough room here because we've got an input of circuits an output of uh, electric engines and then the pipes which will go like that so I need to go and grab some more pipes and then we'll finish building that little module there Need more reds. Oh, rocket shooting three is done. Rocket shooting four. Okay, so green circuits, iron, no, green circuits, iron, steel, green circuits. Okay, now we just need to hook all of that up to the lubricant, which is up there. And then that can head over towards the other side where the science actually gets made. And what was the other thing that production science needs? These guys, which need steel plate, which we have on the bus, advanced circuits, which we have on the bus, and stone bricks, which we have on the bus. Setups like this are a little easier to power with the big poles, so I shall do so. Um, okay, so we have an input there of what is it, these guys, which I may as well just take from here. Uh, stone, brick and steel. and they will have an output. And then how many of those will we need? Um, what is it, this one? Seven machines. So even though we haven't actually researched it yet, um, we are ready to go with automation of production science. And this will join up there, which will then head off to the labs. Okay, so that's all ready to go as well. Um, then is just the yellow science, and we're a little over three hours with just yellow science left to automate. Um, I am going to take a little bit of a break now. Um, just get myself a cup of tea and then I'll be back and we will move on with yellow science or at least <laughs> similarly getting ready for yellow science uh, actually doing quite well um, but yeah I'll be back in a moment or from your point of view I'll be back right after this screen screen wipe and I'm back and we're gonna continue towards yellow science or high-tech science first off we need to make some sulfuric acid so I have that in my book and let's see where's a good place to put this I'd like to get it round here-ish um, would have been nice to leave a little bit of extra space I'm gonna stick it in there
and as soon as that gets its iron plate this one should start filling up with sulfuric acid. Voila! Okay, now we've got the sulfuric acid we should have everything we need to make blue circuits. Yep. Hello, hello. Editing Betrayal back here from the future once more. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Next time we're going to continue our preparations for yellow science and maybe even get a little bit started on the rocket components as well. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.